23 years after tragedy, it's important to pause and look back so we never forget. September 11th, 2001 was a day that shook us to the core and united Americans against hate and violence. Today, there will be dozens of events taking place to honor the brave first responders and the men, women, and children who died in those terrorist attacks. Just a couple of minutes ago, the Winston-Salem State University and Wake Forest ROTC kicked off its annual Climb to Remember event. It's happening right now until 8 inside Wake Forest's A Legacy Stadium. That day, terrorists attacked America's flying planes into New York City's Twin Towers and the Pentagon. There was also a fourth plane that crashed in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, brought down by brave passengers and staff before terrorists could reach their targets. Here in the Triad, Greensboro's Our Lady of Grace Church was one of several churches that opened its doors that evening. 300 people came to that service to gather, to reflect, and to pray. I came out to honor those that were involved in the, today's tragedy. I needed some inner peace and I didn't want to be alone. And I thought church was a good place to come, not to be alone. The next day, we learned one of the victims was from the triad. Sandy Bradshaw was a flight attendant on board United Flight 93. She died when the plane crashed in Shanksville after the heroic passengers and crew fought against the hijackers, preventing the plane from reaching its intended target. She was 38.